Hey down please, it's Dave Desai. Welcome back to my channel. First off, happy Merry Christmas Eve. I hope you are well. Hope you are spending time with people you love or spending time by yourself. Today I want to get into some really funny tea. Apparently of a new site catching Jungkook going on a date. I will talk about it. I will get into it. V or Tay Tay Daddy also dropped a new song. This was called Snowflower. He is Winter Bear. He is Snowflower. And this is like a Christmas special and I'm really happy about it. But there's been issues with a Christmas song for years. So I definitely wanted to talk about that and get into it. So grab your dumpling tea spilling mug and let's get into it. If you are new here and you're interested in this type of stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified anytime a new video drops. And if you as a hater like to be the first to leave your hate comment, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell also so you can be the first to do so. Now let's jump into it. Now the first thing I want to get into is of course this new site catching Jungkook on a date or going on a date. And this new site is of course Dispatch. Now if you aren't aware of what Dispatch is, a lot of netizens believe that this is why K-pop is the way that it is. Like in terms of dating. Like this is why it's controversial. Now, of course, a huge part of why it's controversial has something to do with the toxic people within the fandom. Because a news site reporting on dating or apparent dating that they believe is happening, it wouldn't be this big, huge deal that everyone is scared to be caught dating if it wasn't for the fact that some people in these fandoms send death threats. Like, these news sites are obviously not telling you to do that. You did that on your own. That was your decision. No, no, no. Stop that. But then maybe people believe that these news sites are responsible for making dating seem a much bigger deal than it actually is. For example, Dispatch has their highly anticipated day of the year every year, and this is in January where they announce who they believe which couples are dating. I think they've done it for many, many years, but I don't think they did it for 2020. Perhaps a lot of people caught on to Dispatch and they got better at hiding their dating. Or maybe no one in 2019 was actually dating. They were like, no, not today, Dispatch Daddy. Now, Dispatch is obviously controversial because there are people who consider them kind of like crazy stalker fans. What a lot of people have been saying, not my words, is that they would camp outside idols' homes to take pictures or get video footage of idols in places where you wouldn't expect to see your idol. This includes backstage and all of that. So Dispatch actually gets to break the story before any other news site gets to break the story. Now, do I believe this is right? No. I do not think anyone should have any information, like leaked, before they are comfortable to say it themselves. This obviously includes dating too. If dating is going to be this big scandal that could possibly get idols in trouble, it should be their decision as to whether or not they want to talk about it or not. Now, recently, this photo here started to circulate. It was appearing on my timeline. It was absolutely hilarious. So it looks like Jungkook was leaving his home or wherever, and he was on his little scooter, his little scoot, driving downtown. Which, by the way, looking at this picture, it makes me so happy because he looks so normal. He looks like he is just enjoying his life as a normal peasant like us. No one is bothering him except for the person who is taking this picture. And basically, a lot of people believe that this photo was taken by dispatch. I'm not 100% sure, but whoever took this photo was definitely following Jungkook. And a lot of people believe that this photographer was trying really hard to see where Jungkook was going. Maybe on a date? Or is he trying to meet someone like a lover? But only the next picture that they got, oh, they were disappointed. They found Jungkook simply riding to the store to pick up banana milk. I cried. This is hilarious. He ain't nobody's boyfriend except banana milk. But also, even if he was someone's boyfriend, let him date in peace. No one deserves to be treated like that. Dates are supposed to be a private thing. You might as well just stick a camera in Jungkook's bedroom. I feel like it's just as invasive. But I definitely wanted to see what some people were saying over on El Tweetster. One person wrote, Never forget dispatch spying on Jungkook and trying to catch him in a dating scene scandal, only to find out he went out to buy his banana milk. We shall remember this day. This was probably the day that the photographer decided it was not worth stalking BTS because they don't do anything. Like, you think they're gonna do something juicy? Bam! He's just getting banana milk. And this is why Dispatch rarely writes anything about BTS. Because there's nothing to write about. Now, people were making jokes about this. A while ago, Jungkook and J-Hope had a cute little one-on-one -on -one moment where they settled down in a park at night. They had a blanket, they had a meal, it was a nice picnic, it was very cute. And J-Hope actually recorded a little video and he posted it. And you can see this on BTS's Twitter page. I'm surprised no one saw them, but I guess that's probably why they chose to do it at night. Avoid people catching them, avoid people seeing them. And it looks like they had a really good time. I'm really glad they sat there and they bonded with each other. It's always great to have one-on-one -on -one time with each member. Now, I don't know if Dispatch knew about this, but the jokes were pretending that Dispatch did. When Dispatch tries to catch them on dates with girls, and sees Jungkook setting up things at the park it looks like a date, but then J-Hope shows up. They'd be like, ooh, this is juicy. And then they see it's Jungkook and they're like, oh, that's less juicy. I hope all BTS members are enjoying their time and hopefully having some time off. I hope they're not working too hard this Christmas, especially since we all definitely deserve some nice time off and relaxing time after this crazy year. But it's almost coming to an end. And now Jimin and Tay Tay decide to give us a little bit of a gift. And this was for the Christmas season. They both put out a song. So Jimin's song is called Christmas Love and V's song 
song is called Snowflower. I will definitely try to post my reaction to the song on Patreon. It will probably be after Christmas though. But Tam's song Snowflower is something that has been in the works apparently for a really long time now, like for years. In fact, right after the initial drop of Jimin's song, people were wondering if this was the year that Tam was going to release his Christmas song. One person wrote, what if today or tomorrow Tam will upload his Christmas song? And basically for several of his live streams, Tang has apparently talked about wanting to drop a song at Christmas and maybe not being allowed to do it or whatever. And I likely think it's because Tang probably didn't feel like the song was good enough. But dude, we will listen to you hum in your sleep. You could sell that, I will still buy it. But obviously there was some issues with the song, which is why he didn't want to release it. But there was also apparently some issues with its mixtape lyrics too, or something like that to the point where Tang needed to go back and re-edit some of those lyrics. And some people were mad at Big Hit for this. First, not allowing v to release their Christmas song and now telling Tang to tone down his lyrics. Why does Bang PT hate gay people? Okay, first of all, that went from like zero to 100 real quick. Obviously, this tweet was dropped before the songs were dropped, but also makes no sense. I don't think Bang PT hates gay people. BTS and him all support LGBT. BTS has been very vocal about that. And Chuka has stood up for LGBT a few times too, I believe. And if they were in a label that had homophobic views, I doubt they would be very open to talking about it. Like, I do think some of the issues as to why the song took so long or whatever it was might be a little deeper than what we think it is, like something behind the scenes. Taehyung has a feature on his Christmas song. Maybe he couldn't get Peak Boy. We don't know and obviously it's best not to judge and not to assume the worst in people. I don't think Bang PD or Big Hit has given any reason for anyone to hate them. So why are we doing that? So why are we doing that? As for Tail's mixtape, it could have been like really dark lyrics that maybe TV and radio wouldn't want to play. Keep in mind this is Korea so it doesn't even have to be that dark of lyrics. It's gonna get censored. And obviously if you do make a song, you're gonna want it to be played on the radio. You worked hard on it. You want to see it to succeed, you want to see it do well. So if you get more radio play just by censoring a few words, then go ahead and do that. Now that is just my theory. I am not by any means saying that is for sure what happened. My point is you never know what's happening. So I am definitely glad to have these songs, especially in a year like this. It's really good to kind of make you feel more in the mood, feel a little bit more festive. I don't know about you, but it doesn't really feel like Christmas to me this year. It hasn't felt like Christmas for me in a long time. But having this type of energy this time of year, it's good. It makes me happy. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your thoughts are. Leave it down in the comments section down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'm featuring this comment right here. Thank you so much for doing comments. As always, I do have a Patreon if you want to go over there and kind of check stuff out. I have a lot of videos over there that I can't really post on here. This is due to copyright or it getting taken down or anything like that. So I do keep it over there on my Patreon. So you're more than welcome to go over there and check it out. You can get reaction videos like music video reactions, performance reactions, ship reactions. You can even recommend things over there if you would like to do that. Link is in the top of the description and down below. Also, anything you contribute over there gives back to this channel. I have a video over there explaining that. Speaking of videos, there's two videos that will appear up on screen at the end of this video. So click on one of those. I'll see you over there. Bye.